Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Nick Pompeo and I'm going into my senior year at the University of Kansas. Uh, I'm in the journalism school and I'm majoring in strategic communications, uh, which is an advertising degree and I hope uh, to get into advertising. That's one of my career goals is to somehow break into that one way or another, whether, uh, you know, there's so many different things you can do with that. Uh, and I'm interested in learning as much as I can about all of them. Some of my past experience uh, with that has been being a legislative and uh, communications intern for a Kansas Speaker uh, of the House, Mike O'Neill, and working in his office, which was a great experience getting to uh, learn how to write press releases and, um, you know, just being a, what, it, what being a communications manager generally means. Uh, another internship that I've had in that area of advertising is I was an advertising intern for the Kansas City Explorers, which is a traveling tennis team. Um, I worked a lot in advertising with email blasts and advertising on the website and uh, ticket sales, so I got a lot of the more personal side of that, um, as well as some of the digital side, gaining some experience in advertising. And most recently, I'm interning for Fox News Channel, uh, I'm an advertising intern, and I work with a lot of the ad agencies to email out uh, their clients' uh, prices and upfront deals and everything that works and learning a lot of the technical terms on the digital side, on the internet side, uh, both TV and digital is the, are the sides that I'm working on. So it's been a great exposure to the ad sales uh, industry and I feel like my past experiences um, and past internships have all given me a different perspective and shed a different light on advertising and the world of communications. What would I say my greatest strength is? Um, I would think that my greatest strength is that I'm a very hard worker. Um, I'm very uh, excited to get into the workforce and start a job and have an actual uh, paying salary and job. And so I think that I'm a very hard worker and when I start a project, I want to finish it, I want to get it done, I want it to be correct, um, and I want to make sure that my final product is something that I'm very happy with and is presentable and I'm, I'm very dedicated uh, to making sure that happens and making sure all my work gets done before I leave the office. Um, that's one thing that I've noticed in my past internships uh, that I've done really well is just managing my time and working really hard to get things done and uh, in a way that makes uh, my superiors happy. An example of a school or work project that I'm very proud of is uh, being ahead and uh, heading up the ticket sales department for the, in my internship with the Kansas City Explorers. Uh, that was my one of my uh, duties that I was in charge of and uh, was responsible for was ticket sales and increasing ticket sales. And I was very aggressive in um, going out to tennis centers um, in the tennis community at whole uh, around around the Kansas City, greater Kansas City area, and trying to get people interested in coming to Explorers matches, as well as my friends um, and family that I knew that were around town, trying to get them excited about coming to the Explorers tennis matches. And uh, increasing ticket sales uh, was one of my goals, and I think I helped accomplish that that year, um, and really just getting after it and really working hard to uh, increase those ticket sales and be personal with people and uh, gain their interest and uh, try to convince them to come out. And most of the people, I think, did enjoy actually coming out and uh, appreciated my effort that I made with them. And so that's one, one work project that I'm very proud of. An example of me working under pressure, and uh, let me explain the results a little bit, was when I had an internship with a congressional campaign in the Wichita area. And I did a lot of cold calling for that campaign, cold calling uh, potential voters and seeing if they gained support for the candidate that I was working for. And uh, when, you, when you talk about politics, sometimes it can be very polarized and uh, people can get very angry and get mad at you on the phone. And uh, it was very, uh, very pressure-filled when I'd call and someone would be very angry with me because they didn't like the candidate that I was uh, working for. And so knowing how to handle that with grace and maturity, um, it, it, it was a lot of pressure to make sure that I did that because the other person is screaming at you, but you also want to be, represent the person that you're working for well and uh, not lose it on them as well and just keep your cool. And I think that I did a really good job of doing that, of handling most of the situations that I encountered, which were quite often, uh, especially doing cold calling, is very difficult uh, when you just have to call someone up out of the blue and don't know who they are and try to convince them to vote for the person you're working for. And I think for the most part in the harder situations that occurred uh, because of that, uh, I handled it with a lot of maturity and grace, and uh, I think I came out just um, learning a lot from that experience and being able to handle things uh, under pressure like that. Uh, why should you hire me? Um, I believe that you should hire me because, as I stated before, I'm a very hard worker, worker and I think I'm a very personable individual. Um, you know, I, I get along well with people and I can conversate with them well and relate well with them, uh, which helps a lot in business transactions and when you're talking to customers or uh, clients. Um, 
and, and just making that connection with them and being having a good relationship and work relationship to be able to do business uh, smoother. And I think that uh, you should also hire me just because uh, I'm a very hard worker. Uh, I'm eager to get in the workforce. I'm eager to start uh, working and put the knowledge that I've learned in school and past internships to use. Um, and I'm very dedicated and motivated when it comes to my work. Uh, it's something that I take pride in and I want the final project to be great and uh, something that my superiors are happy with, as I stated before. And uh, I, I think those are two definitely really good reasons uh, to hire me. Also, my past internships have, uh, have given me a lot of knowledge on the advertising industry, and I've really grown as an individual and in learning how to talk to people and communications uh, through the classes that I took at KU and also through my internship uh, opportunities that I've had. Uh, I, I've learned a lot about communicating with people and how to be a better individual and a better worker for it. So I think those are some reasons on why you should hire me. Thank you.